All right, guys, back with another major order for us today to complete the final one. We're going to be taking down the automatons. It's a pretty big one. We're going to be actually wiping out a faction in Helldivers. Is that the case? Find out in this video. So we are giving away copies of Helldivers, guys. Support the video with a like. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Let's try and get this video to 2,000 likes. Like the video. It will take you one millisecond. Do it. It will help me out a ton. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the video. So for those of you who are not aware, there's obviously bugs with acquiring medals in the game. It's pretty much been there from launch. So yeah, some info from High Command here regarding outstanding medals for not only the latest major order, but for medals appearing after a successful order overall. So some info. So they said your hard fought medals are already being uh, shipped Helldivers due to the vast amount of outstanding soldiers participating in the continuous fight for democracy. Dispatching them, however, takes some time, usually a few hours. Thank you for the non-wavering effort and support. So if you haven't received your medals yet for completing the last major order, it does take some time. I have noticed this with mine as well. It does take a few hours for them to actually come through. The thing is, though, like you don't even need to participate in the major orders to get the medals. So I still think it's pretty good that they're just giving them to like everybody. As long as you log in, you get the medals right. So yeah, honestly, I'm not complaining. And here it is, the new major order of the week. So yeah, the final strike to get rid of the automaton threat once and for all Helldivers for Super Earth. So this is the new four-day major order in the game right now. They want us to basically liberate all the remaining automaton-held planets, Tibet, Durgan, and Maya. So yeah, I don't know what's going to actually happen if we manage to do this, but it'd be pretty insane to obviously wipe out the automatons. I don't think we're actually going to wipe them out. Potentially, we could even fail this just because the amount of people that are spread out and not even doing automatons is crazy. So yeah, if we're actually managed to do this and wipe out the automatons, I'm curious to see what the next major order is, if we're going to be seeing potentially maybe the Illuminates. Are they going to replace the automatons for a bit? Who knows? Yeah, the new major order is to kill every last one of the automatons. Wipe out an entire faction. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, pretty much. Someone said, I wonder what happened if we succeed. Will the third faction appear immediately or will there be like a bug front for a while? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the automatons are going to basically disappear for a while. We're going to be fighting bugs. And then what I think is going to happen is we're going to just be getting the Illuminate comeback. And then it's obviously going to be joined with the automatons. I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, here's this, uh, I guess, game plan someone has laid out to basically win our victory over the automatons. So they're going to start with Maya into Durgan into Tibet. So this one said, the final eradication of the automaton menace is within our grasp, but it's only guaranteed if we work together. Um, automaton defenses oppose us on per planet basis, meaning the most efficient way to destroy them is a single moving front. By forcing down a single planet at a time, we make the next one much easier to take. So this is the plan. So obviously we start with Maya first. We take this one first, the Rocky Moon. The Rocky Moon is not just valuable for its mineral deposits, is also the staging ground for the attack of Vandalon 4. And without the automatons have no way to supply an assault outside the sector, trapping them in the eradication zone. So next up, our second target, this scorching desert planet with its dunes and messes also serves to supply troops and materials to assault both Malevolent Creek and Ubanai. By taking it, we isolate the remaining automatons and leave them with only Ubanai as its way out, limiting their ability to try and split our forces. And then finally, Tibet, our ultimate goal and the final target. This massive purple jungle planet, the goal of our previous order and the home to the last of the automaton production facilities will mark their final stand. None will escape. and They will be purged from the galaxy forever, democracy willing. So yes, this is the battle plan. If you are playing within the next three days, start with Maya. As soon as Maya is taken, go to Durgan and then Tibet. With this plan, obviously, this will be the most effective strategy in winning over the automatons. So let's do it. Also, it is an absolute crime that we don't have the chess punt emote in the game. We we need this emote. Can we get this emote, Arrowhead? Thank you very much, everybody. So we've got a pretty big uh, Illumina audio leak coming from the guy himself, Iron Sight. So let's take a listen here. Pretty interesting. A lot of uh, Illumina audio leaks. For a minute, I thought I might never vote again. The Helldivers are here. Unidentified hostiles incoming.
position at 30 minutes remaining. Enemy elite. Deploying illumination flare. Yeah, so that sounded pretty intense. A lot of Illumina, I guess, like sound effects, Illumina guns, Illumina, pretty interesting. A lot of uh, vehicles. The squids are back. So I'm assuming they're referring to obviously the Illumina. <laughs> the squids are back. But yeah, that was a pretty huge leak. I don't know when we're going to see the Illumina, but I'm assuming when we do, it's going to be a great day for Helldivers. It is going to be a fun, fun day fighting these guys. Also, guys, hear me out. Shaders. Shaders in this game would be awesome. If you don't know what shaders are, basically, they're these things you apply to your armor and they will give you a certain color variation. Pretty sweet. It was in Destiny and I think it's a really cool system. But you know what would be even better? Color palettes. Can we get some color palettes? I think Warframe uh, really nailed the customization on this. And yeah, color palettes. Let us customize our armor. I know for a fact when we drop in, we're different Helldivers, but it'd still be cool to rock like a unique color theme. What do you guys think? Do you think we need color palettes for our armor? Another huge leak here from Iron Sights. It actually shows the Illuminate Observer and the sound that comes with it. So these are the guys that basically alert the Illuminate and they will basically pull for reinforcements. I don't think they can actually fight you at all or maybe they're extremely weak. But yeah, the way they just swim through the air looks absolutely terrifying. So this person was actually testing out the new Airburst rocket launcher on ground base. So the Airburst rocket launcher is a new stratagem coming and the way it works is I'm pretty sure it's meant to be used for small air infantry. So it's like an anti-air weapon. But this guy was basically testing it on stuff on the ground. And it was actually performing pretty well. Also, it has five rockets, I am aware. Uh, someone mentioned in my last video, I can't count apparently. But yeah, it's got five rockets. And yeah, it does a insane amount of damage. By it, it looks like it's mainly for like infantry. But he does shoot it at some brutes, and it seems to do a lot of damage. Now, the cool thing is, it does come with a backpack. So if you would like to get like a teammate to help you reload it, you can. And they'll basically just follow you around. But yeah, against a tank, it looks like it one-shots um, tanks. Yeah. Now, thankfully, that tank was sitting next to a hell bomb. So when he shot it, the tank died. But it also hit the hell bomb. But yeah. Airburst rocket. He's going to be using it here against uh, the brutes. But yeah, this thing's like a cluster bomb mega rocket launcher. And it looks pretty powerful. I don't know if it's going to be tuned down when it comes out, but this thing looks nuts. Yeah, huge. I can't wait to use this. So something leaked earlier called Hellbucks. It's basically like these weird looking, I guess, like, I don't even know what like credit card things um someone actually said they're already in game here as you can see and he actually found one on the ground i don't know if this is if this is real or not this looks edited as hell but yeah someone said they found one in game what could these hell bucks be and then finishing up with one last leak we're getting a new mine stratagem and this looks like it's going to be useful for anti-tank or anti-vehicle uh, so big brute walkers tanks yeah if you're going to be flanked by like a tank i think this would be really useful someone said that apparently um if you're a hell diver and you walk over these they won't get activated because you're not heavy enough i think that would be a great idea it would basically be only for big huge targets maybe only like bile titans as well i feel like this would be good for bile titans that like walk over them pretty huge but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like guys it will take you one second and it will help me out a ton leave a comment as well to help me in the algorithm and with that being said guys i will see you in my next video and peace